The chord progression for this video is going to be a 4, 6, 1, 5 progression and in the key of C major with some chords applied to it, it can sound like this. And to me this progression, it sounds like um, kind of a chorusy kind of section. It's got that kind of groove to it, the, the, the overall sound of it. And I'm very fond of this progression. I have used it in a number of songs in the past in uh, different chords and various different keys. But uh, yeah, what I mean by this, these Roman numerals, if you're unsure, when I say like a, a four, six, one, five progression, I mean these refer to either major or minor chords in a particular key, so in this case in the key of C major. So the chords we just had there in C major, F major 7, and then we had an A minor 11, then a C major 7, so the first, and then we come to this fifth, so the G dominant 7. And they're all extended chords, this means they've been taken above that, you know, that basic major or minor chord shapes. So if I was to play this as just F major, for example, A minor, C major, and then um, just G major. But extending them, you get definitely that more jazzy sound but the application is somewhat quite different from jazz and there is a reason why I've chosen these chord shapes for this chord progression. You may have noticed this melody that's going on as I play the progression. So we start up here on the F, we have this high note, and then we come to this A minor 11, and we go C major 7, and then we come back to this G7, so you get this nice little melody uh, going on underneath it. So listen for it. So it makes this chord progression even sound like it has a melody going on with it. So that's one thing you can think about as well with any of the chord progression you're playing, how you can make this kind of melody within the chords that you're playing. And if you'd like to play these chords with a bit more gain on them, and uh, probably on the bridge pickup, then um, we can change the shapes a bit, but we can keep the overall feel of, of the progression. So this is an uh, F major 7 admit third. And then we're going to go to an A minor 7, but it's a, but it's a shell voicing, so it means we've taken out some notes. And then we're going to play in C major 7, but it's a shell voicing again, so just three notes. And then we're going to play a, a G7, so a dominant 7 shell voicing. So they work a little bit better for gain if you want to keep things a bit tighter and a bit cleaner compared to playing you know, these full variations of the chords. So there's the chord progressions for you there. So you feel free to end it here and go and take them away and start experimenting with them. And now I'm going to show you just a, two or three different ways that I think you can apply them and give you some little tips and tricks to help you uh, when writing with them. So if I was to write this with finger tapping, one way I could approach it is uh, every chord that I play, I'm going to tap a chord that's um, a fifth higher. So what I mean by this, if I'm playing this F major 7, the fifth here is a C. Here's a quick way of finding it when you play your power chord. A quick way to find the fifth is when you're playing your power chord, um, you know, you, the fifth is in the middle there. So this in the key of C major is a C major. So now if I play this F major shape up here, I can tap a C major down here and it's going to sound uh, quite nice with it. So I'm going to put the pick down for now. And then I can do the same again for this A minor 11 chord. So if I play an A power chord. I know it's an E. And then the key of C, that's an E minor. So I'm going to choose this 
this E minor bar shape down here. Like that, that sounds nice, right? And then we can move over to the, the C major 7, so the 5th is G. Uh, so I'm going to find a G shape down here. Nice tapping there. And to conclude it, this G7, it's going to be a D, a D minor in the key of C major, right? So I've not really rehearsed it, but it would go something like this all together. Mm -hmm. 